Hey everyone, Rich here with Fnatic and today we are checking out the TRP DHR EVO brakes. These brakes have actually been on the market for a little while now, but we just recently brought them into the shop and I'm super excited about it. So my boy Kevin over at TRP was pestering me for quite a while to try these brakes out. And when I built up this new Dreadnought, I figured, what the heck, let's give them a go. And after only a couple of rides, it was pretty apparent we needed to get these in the shop ASAP. So I bugged our buyers and now here we are stocking the TRP DHR Evos online and in our retail store. I can honestly say, I don't think I ever want to ride another pair of brakes on any of my personal bikes. So what did TRP do to make these brakes so special? I'd say they focused on a couple of key things. Those things would be heat management and power. One of the big things that TRP did to help mitigate heat buildup was formulate a new mineral oil. So the oil that they're using in their brakes has a higher boiling point than the typical mineral oil found in other brakes. They've also kicked off this new trend of thicker rotors. The TRP rotors are 2.3 millimeters thick, whereas most other brands are in that like 1.8 millimeter thickness. And that thicker rotor helps to dissipate heat better. They've also got huge rotors. So they have everything from a 180 millimeter all the way up to a 223. On my personal bike, I'm running a 200 millimeter rotor out back and a 220 up front. The thicker rotors help to dissipate heat under heavy braking and the larger rotor sizes also help with that other important aspect that TRP focused on, which was power. The DHR EVO is a four piston brake, which has become the norm for downhill bikes, enduro bikes, and the heavier cousin, the e-bike. So inside the lever, they've beefed it up with a nine millimeter piston, which pushes a ton of fluid from the lever into the caliper, giving you maximum power. Here in the Pacific Northwest and on this bike, which is my enduro race bike, sometimes the speeds get really fast and you wanna have maximum power for maximum confidence. So they've also changed the brake hose from a 5.5 millimeter hose to a five millimeter hose. And what that does is it increases the hydraulic pressure in the system, again, giving you more power. Another bonus of the smaller hose is it's much easier to route internally. So if you're setting up your own bike, you're not gonna be struggling trying to get the brake hose through the frame to set up your brakes. So out on the trail, these brakes have a pretty mind-blowing feel. I'd say they've got enough modulation that you can feather them to slowly slow yourself down, or if you need to lock them up, you've got that distinct and consistent bite point. I'd say it's similar to the modulation of a Code RSC and the distinct bite point of a Shimano Saint brake, which gives you the best of both worlds. Doesn't hurt that these brakes look amazing. They're a full CNC machined lever and caliper. They're available in this gray color, or if you want to add a little bit more bling, they've also got a full gold version available. These brakes are super simple to set up. They have an easy bleed process. They have reach adjust levers, so you can set the lever exactly where you want it. They have a consistent feel. They're extremely powerful. I would say these are definitely my new go-to brakes and worth checking out if you need new stoppers. So, if you have any other questions about the TRP DHR EVOs, give us a call at 844-326-2845, email us at sales at fanaticbike.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, hit us with any questions in the comments, and I suppose that's it. So we'll see you next time.